Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. <laughs> and we're the Leversons, and happy 4th of July! If you're from America, happy 4th of July, or if you live in America, I guess I should say. We are celebrating the 4th today. We decided to put in an extra video today on the 4th because um, A, we have a lot that we need to film and a lot of packages that are just sitting in our house. And B, I had to, I had to show off my ears. <laughs> She's like, I want a video to come out on 4th of July so I can wear my ears. Now, where did you get your ears? I got these. I just purchased these through Dream It Do It Design Co. If you've been watching our channel at all, you know that I love her Etsy shop. So, of course, I'll leave it linked down below. But these are the 4th of July ones. You've got the stars on this side and the stripes. And then this really cute sequin white bow. It's just adorable. It is cute. She unpacked it. I was like, oh, yep, yeah, those are cute. <laughs> he always is like, ugh, you bought another pair of ears. But then I open them and you're like, yeah, those are good. <laughs> okay, let's get to the haul. We have a shop Disney haul today. It's a lot. It was originally like, of course, six different boxes. <laughs> so we did consolidate our packages a little bit. And uh, we've got mostly pins. What do you want to start with? Do you want to get, do you want to get the bag out of yeah, the way? The you can out. show what's up, what's going on in the bag. Sometimes they package them in these really nice bags. Most of the time not. So this, from was this like an add-on? This was like $10 with a purchase or something like that. So this is, I think, officially called a family towel. Family size. Family sized, And it has Mickey, and it just kind of keeps on, <laughs> on going. And keeps going. And going. <laughs> And going. And going. <laughs> so this is this is a Garrett size towel. Um, I got it for you. Because I'm I'll be able to fit my entire body on top of it. <laughs> and we're definitely gonna take this to Disney for our pool time. Yeah, and if you didn't know, we're leaving for Disney in literally just a few days. We're gonna be there for the entire reopening of the parks. So if you wanna watch our trip announcement, it will be linked up here and down below. But yeah, we did decide that I think with, we're trying to take all precautions necessary. So I think we're just gonna bring our own beach towels to bring to the pool. So we don't have to worry about A, dirtying other towels and B, like we just wanna keep everything ourselves for the entire trip, if that makes any sense, so. I just keep on trying to show it off. <laughs> it's Mickey. It's a huge towel. It's, it's a the monstrous perfect, towel. It's the perfect size. So that is a family size towel if your family is the size of Garrett Lefferson. <laughs> um, if it isn't, then you're out of luck. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like everyone needs a family size towel. They're perfect for the entire family, even if you're not Garrett size. So up next, some of these packages were probably the stupidest packed ever. We had a box that was like yay big, you can't tell because I'm video, and it had literally one pin in it. I know. So Disney shipping is like... If you guys know and you've been purchasing the LEs, the LE exclusives online, you know that Disney packing and shipping has been has been ridiculous. If you know, you know. Oh, before we get into the pins, I forgot I purchased this shirt. So I think like on one of the LE pin releases, I wanted to spend the $75 to get free shipping. Obviously. And so, well, this was on sale too. I think it was only $15. So That's I decided it? to add it on. That's practically giving it away. It's so cute though. So it's a Winnie the Pooh shirt. And it says? Save the bees. All right, fun fact. I dive into weird corners of YouTube. <laughs> I have been loving beekeepers. Oh yeah, you watch, I, he watches a lot of it. I love things. watching beekeepers, it's fascinating. <laughs> and then there's guys that go out and take out bald faced hornet nests because hornets are like the devils <laughs> of the, the bee and, and insect world. But the, the bees are like so kind and fuzzy and they just do their job and they make honey. Uh, yep. and it's soothing to watch them like it's like asthma. He, you really want like a once we buy a house. Yeah, if I if I have if we have a house on land, I want a beehive. Yeah. Because it's I mean, good for the earth. I mean, I don't really care. And you eat honey, so yeah. we could use the honey. Yeah, and, and plus know. it just helps. <laughs> so, anyways, save the bees. I did order a size large, and it does look like 
I usually order the large because I never know about the sizing. Sometimes they like fit just right and sometimes they're like fit like woman size super small. If it's but big this enough. one actually fits like, it looks like it's pretty big. So I probably should have got the medium, but that's okay. Can I wear it? This was $22.99, but I'm pretty sure I got it on sale for $15. It's so cute. So this is a limited edition pin from the Enchanted Emblems series. And I, it looks like the mask, like the movie with Jim Carrey, but that's not right. <laughs> and on the edges, it says, you're in my world now, not your world. And, you don't have any idea what it is. And I got friends on the other side. Okay, that would give it away. Oh, is this Dr. Facilier? Yes! Okay. <laughs> so, so we have most of the Enchanted em Emblems. I didn't, okay. I didn't purchase the last one, but I think we had all the others, uh, all the other ones. So it makes a little bit more sense because, yeah. oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so it is a spinner. So there is the center of it. And there's that little saying I was talking about. So if you were confused like I was, there we go. There's Dr. <laughs> Facilier with his uh, mask on and him conjuring up the spirits. But now that I see it in context, that mask makes a lot more sense. I do like the other side though. I feel like we're gonna display it on the other, like that side. Yes, and these are limited edition of 3000. So it's a pretty large limited edition batch. Um, but this is gonna be added to our uh, Princess and the Frog collection, which has been slowly but surely growing. And it's I am excited. It's one of our biggest pin collections at this point. I'm excited to see what pins they come out with with the redoing of Splash Mountain oh, yes. into whatever it's going to be. Yes. Is it still going to be called Splash Mountain? Is it going to be rephrased into something else? I feel like it needs to still be a mountain mm -hmm. because otherwise people are going to be angry. Well, there's really but... no mountains in Louisiana. Yeah, but like you have to have the mountains. Like everyone's like yeah. the three mountains. They can't. They just can't get rid of the mountains. No, okay. they can't. All right. Well, time will tell. Disney will not disappoint um, so there you go. This was a 20th anniversary pin trading oh. and it looks like a diamond almost. And I, there's a whole collection of these. I'm not collecting all of them, but I did pick this one up because there is a little, it's a hinge pin so you can open it up and you can already see who's inside, but it is, who is it? It's Dale. I had to look at his nose. It is Dale. No, I would so assume cute. that you, like, all the ones that, and it creates a little yeah, circle. Yeah, it can thing. It creates like a circle type situation, or maybe it creates a diamond. But um, we're probably not going to collect all of them. This is a limited edition of four thousand. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty a, big. Yeah, it's a pretty big limited edition size, but. <laughs> If you didn't know, we've also been really adding to our Chip and Dale collection as well. <laughs> Everyone's supporting it because I feel like a lot of people have been sending us like Chip and Dale pins too. I'm not mad about it. The next is an open edition pin that Alyssa ordered and I'm showing it because it's stinking adorable. <laughs> and this is from our, one of our main collection. It is Winnie the Pooh and you have Tigger. Is there a series name to this, honey? Do you know? There's not, or okay. at least not that I know of. It's just super duper adorable. I, I hope that they make the other characters of the Hundred Acre Wood, because I think this is the first one that they have in this series. In that same style? Yeah, in that like style. It's yeah. so cute though. <laughs> and yeah, as I said, this is just open edition. And if you're new to pins, open editions it just means that pins that are just in the parks, they're not a limited amount. They run sometimes for years. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but I'm not mad about it because no. look at Tigger. He's adorable. Mm. He's, so, He's cute. so cute. Our last pin in this first box first is box. one of the Disney scents. This is a scratch and sniff pin. What? Yeah. What? Okay, guys, <laughs> hold on. Let's talk for a second though. Before I show this scratch and sniff, we, I'm dying for the first scratch and sniff because it's a pineapple. Oh, like. Uh, it's like the Dole Whip. Dole Whip. Yes, I'm dying for that. If anyone has it for trade, Hit We're going up. to Disney so I can pick you up something if you want to trade, but I really, really, really want that pin. Hit us up on our Instagram, <laughs> yeah. the Leffersons. Yes. So this is the Disney scratch and sniff for the scent orange. And of course you have Orange Bird. And what's he saying? It says orange, you cute. <laughs> so what, so is the pin scratch and sniff? I think so. Let's, let's find out. Or is it the or maybe backer? It's, I think it's just the backer, the backer card. card. Oh, it's definitely the backer card. Okay. 
definitely the backer card. Oh. I'm just trying to scratch the pin. I'm oh, ridiculous. that's cool. Okay, so can I show? Yeah, a yeah. Bit? And I also don't know what Elliot is, so you'll have to check that out right. too. This is a really interesting pin because it has these little this little flower detail, and it's like this rubberized, and it kind of comes off the pin a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I like all the colors and the details and orange uh, cute is like all these different colors. So every single layer that they do on a pin is another layer of com complexity. Mm -hmm. And this is a limited edition of 2000. Yes, I was super duper lucky to get that one because I think it's sell out. It sold out pretty quickly online because of the low L LE. It's pretty adorable, yeah. not gonna lie. We don't have very many orange bird pins, like a very tiny collection, like less than 10. But he's really grown on me. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's because it's our favorite treat. Well, that and because like Orange Bird represents Florida. Florida is where our home parks are. So I don't know. It just makes sense. Love it. All right. What else do we have? <laughs> um, more pins. Oh, we have a Dis another Disney scent. Do that one. Okay. We got the next month's Disney scent because obviously we had to. We had to. <laughs> the next one is from our main collection, and of course, it's Winnie the Pooh, and it says, having a honey of a time. <laughs> and just like the last one, the honey pot is this rubberized uh, flat, and the detail, y'all, check it out. They are adorable. I love uh, the bright colors in them. So the scent is honey. I guess that's like honey. Mm. Just like take it away for a second. It smells like when you pack, when you open a packet of that fake honey that they give you at like McDonald's. Yeah, I'm not sure what, it smells like weird perfume or something. And I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna assume that this is the same LE as the yeah. other one, so I'm not yeah. gonna take it off the backer card. But this, look at this, that's how I look this entire quarantine <laughs> when I see cookies. I just seen all these memes and it's like Pooh sitting there holding up his shirt with his belly hanging out. And it's like quarantine got me like. And that's just how I feel, like. <laughs> I just, uh, I am Pooh Bear with my tummy. <laughs> it's okay, honey. I still love you. Wait till you see the footage at Disney. I'm like, it's gonna be out there, peeps. <laughs> oh, I do love these pins, though. They're so cute. Okay, so we have three more <laughs> pins to show you. I know. You didn't know what it was at first. No. Ah, okay. Oh, this is cool. I dropped the pin. It's underneath your chair. Can well, you get one? Who are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So this pin, maybe I should show it to you with the backer card first. We This is another collection of ours that's very, very tiny, but I really wanted to get this one because it's it's got all the that's characters, good. it's perfect. So it's the Inside Out fifth anniversary pin. And you have everyone. You have Joy and she's holding like a memory and it's a joyful memory. Of course. And then you have sadness, anger, um, disgust. disgust, and fear. So you've got them all there. And this is limited edition of 3000. And then on the back, it also says inside out um, fifth anniversary. And it is a little bit of a pin on pin. The, uh, the memory up here is like an extra pin on top, but yay, it's just super bright and colorful. Just had to pick it up, I had to pick it up. Oh, look at that. Okay, I just wanna show this pin to you guys again, the back of it, because I've mentioned in especially like our pin trading 101 video that if the Mickey waffling on the back is off, that could tell that it is, that's one way you could tell that it's a fake pin. But you may also purchase real authentic Disney pins that are just a hair off. Yeah, that are just a hair off. And you know what? Actually, I've noticed that it's it's the same way all the way around, I think. Yeah. So just to kind of show you, normally the waffling goes all the way to the edge, but I don't know if you can see right there on the edge that it cuts off the Mickey waffling, but it actually does that all the way around, I believe, on this one. So yeah, just showing that, putting it out there. Sometimes you get real authentic pins and the waffling's off and you just deal with it. So this is from, I guess, the Park Cruiser series. And it's really cool because it kind of looks like a Hot Wheels uh, card. <laughs> but this is one of our favorite rides, I guess you could call it. And it's from the People Mover. Now you may look at that and you're like, oh, that's cool. But check it out. It like <laughs> comes off of the pin back in like this super duper way. It's like it's, so, it's super 3D. And it's, uh, you know, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover established in 1975. 
uh, all that good stuff. And this is a limited edition of 2000. And Ooh. I'm always a sucker for like the gunmetal gray backs yeah, on pins. They look nice. Um, but this is a really nifty pin. And then also look at the detail on that gray background. It's like uh, swooshy, like a liquid yeah. almost. This is a super duper cute pin. I'm so glad that we were able to get this one. Now, our <laughs> final pin, guys. <laughs> This was a fiasco. <laughs> it so really was. I get a text message and it says, I can't get this pin because <laughs> Disney's website is trash. <laughs> because it always is. So then I'm really like, is. I'm going to be a thoughtful husband and I'm going to jump on at work and I'm going to buy her this pin and surprise her. <laughs> and then five seconds later, after I pr pressed purchase, she's like, never mind, I got it. <laughs> so now we have two of these. We have two of these and it's like the most expensive pin we've so. ever bought. This pin, we have another one that will be up for trade. Yeah, sell, sale. Or, or for sale, unless if they have something really good It's gotta good be a to heck trade. of good trade. I mean, yeah, we spent like $80 on the pin, including shipping, so it's gotta be a good trade, but Prepare moving Prepare yourselves. <laughs> this is so great. Uh, when we opened this, I was like, holy guacamole, <laughs> this is insane. Are you guys ready? I don't think you're ready. Are they ready? They're like, shut up, get it. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is a limited edition of 2000, like super jumbo pin of Lady and the Tramp, and it says Bella Notte. So let me take it out. Uh, let me take it, take the lid off the box. It's also like the size of my face. It is <laughs> massive. You have Lady, you have the Tramp, <laughs> then you have Tony, and who's the guy? What's his Luigi or something like that? Uh, yeah, we looked something it up. like that. It's something the, Italian. <laughs> it's the famous uh, spaghetti scene in Bella Notte, which means Where they're what? singing Bella Notte, beautiful what? night. Beautiful it night. It is a night, what a beautiful night. That's what they sing the entire time. And they time. call it Bella Notte. It's so, oh my gosh, this is just stunning. Another thing that I like about it is at the bottom, you've got the music notes. It's so Which big. is just like literally, <laughs> if you guys need preference, it's, it's my It's so big. excessive, people. It's bigger than my hand. You it's amazing. It. It's beautiful. I also like that they have like some of the town in the background. This is just a super duper detailed pin. Flip I'm it obsessed. around. I'm obsessed. And check out the back. You could read that a mile away. It says Lady and the Tramp, limited edition 2000. Look at all those Mickeys. I know, <laughs> That's right? a lot of waffling this back there. <laughs> is a truly magnificent pin. Oh, it is amazing. It is so amazing. So yeah, we have a whole other one. So, um, if you're interested in it, hit yeah. us up on Instagram, hit the Leffersons. Up. We can trade, but like I said, it'd have to be for something good. Real nice. Um, otherwise, we're willing to sell it. So, yeah, there's that. And that's it. That's pretty much it for our pin haul. We ended with a bang. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July Independence Day. I know it's looking a little bit different than it normally is. All the fireworks around here are canceled and all that. So we would like you guys to comment down below. What are, you, what are your 4th of July plans? Are you staying in? Are you going to see at least your family? Or are you just, I don't know. I don't know. Let us know what you're doing. We're just uh, going to hang out with our friends that we've been quarantined with basically this entire time. So. <laughs> and the Canadians just celebrated Canada Day. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, I don't know how a Canadian say hi. <laughs> how do you say hi in Canadian? Hello? They speak English. Well, I guess some of them speak French, right? Bonjour. Yeah, so there you go. Subscribe for more Disney content. We are heading to Disney World in just a couple days. We will be live streaming that, so subscribe and hit that bell icon because it will notify you whenever we go live, post new videos, all that good stuff. Exactly. Um, if you want to check out any of the equipment that we use or Alyssa's ears, check <laughs> out down in the description down below. Yes. And uh, that will point you where you want to go. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'm going to go make a steak. <laughs>